Shalom and welcome back to my vlog. It has been a while because I've been busy studying in class, but I just celebrated my 20th birthday. Ah, 20 years old, I'm such an adult. And I am just want to share with you all of the fun things I did over my birthday weekend. I went to a kibbutz, which if you don't know, it's sort of like, okay, it's sort of like where a bunch of people live together and they share everything. So it's like socialism almost. There's a bunch of different kibbutzes all over Israel and I went to one kibbutz in Keturah, which is down south, just about, um, I think like 30 minutes up from Eilat, which is the very south end of Israel. So, now I've been to the very north and the very south. Cool. But anyways, we were in Keturah and we had a really good time. We learned so much about kibbutzes, which are really, honestly, interesting. I don't know if I could personally live on one, but it is really interesting how they have no form of money. At the kibbutz we stayed at, they worked during the day and their housing like is provided, their food is provided, they have like time off from work, they like just share everything, they have certain allowances um, for like their basic needs, they have a store within the community, they just, I don't know, they share everything. It's really, really interesting. They basically have everything they need within their little community. Community, 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 all about community at the kibbutz. Anyways, um, I think that's it. I hope that you guys will enjoy this vlog, so let's get started. Good morning vlog. It is currently 7.30 a.m. I just got out of the shower and we are down south, close to a lot. And what's the name of the place, Kelly? And we don't know where we are. <laughs> but we are at a kibbutz and also today is November 10th, which is my birthday. I'm 20 years old, so it's gonna be a great day. Come, tag along, come on. <laughs> Shout out to all the people who made my 20th birthday one for the books. I had so many people take me out for meals. This is a delicious meal that Patty got me. Thank you so much. Also, my mom sent me this super, super nice gift basket which a with a bunch of cookies and treats and a cute little balloon. I got to FaceTime my friends. My roommates were so sweet and they got me some really yummy gummies. And they took me out to a super, super good pasta dinner. I had somebody else take me for lunch. I had such, 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 such a great birthday. Thank you so much to everyone who helped me celebrate over the weekend in, at the kibbutz. So I just wanted to shout out and say thank you. It was definitely a good time. I'm so glad I got to celebrate my 20th birthday in Israel. Started the day off right with a very yummy Israeli breakfast. Always got some cucumbers, some toast, and of course, some hummus. Hello, vlog. Just like travels the world. Hey. We are here on the bus. <laughs> and we are. What are we doing? Kelly, you have to tell we're me. We're going frolicking in the desert. She knows I'm good. Yay! Okay, we're going frolicking in the desert. So. See you there. See you there. Stay tuned. <laughs> and in order to come to Israel, we'll even know the depth. Uh, for many, for most of the geological system. Um, a bit about this region. Uh, this is called. Uh, the regional council of Eilat and Eilat. In the regional council of the of Eilat, there's uh, only 3,500 inhabitants. That's less. That's uh, less than uh, uh, 0 0.05 percent of the population of Israel. Part of the can. The other side, the Jordanian side. The green line down there, like the the place where the Jews come We truly did frolic in the sand dunes. So 
these creepy bugs were all over the desert. We also went to another kibbutz because they just wanted to show us how different they can be. This one was super artistic and beautiful and they did a lot of different artistic things within the kibbutz. Okay, so we have just arrived to a kibbutz and it's called the Kibbutz Nehomada. And this is really cool. Behind me is a cooling tower and we're in the middle of the desert. But this is like an air conditioner that somehow heats, I mean cools, all of these like little workshops all around. They have like a place to make woodwork and jewelry and ceramics and stained glass, all these different things. So it's really cool how they can make it be cold in the desert. And the architecture of this building is so beautiful. This is a look inside. I think there's some water down there. I'm not really sure exactly how it works, but somehow. This is the garden of the kibbutz. They grow food to support themselves in their own community, but also they sell some to make money. And another thing that they sell is wine to support themselves. But the main way this kibbutz makes money is through solar energy and solar panels. We bake some super delicious coconut cookies through the heat of the solar um, panels. So we just put them in this little tube, which the solar panel heats, and within about 20 minutes, it got to the 350. The next day we, we woke up in the morning really and we cookies. went for a hike. Shalom, shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. It is Saturday morning. We are here in Tapura, and we're about to climb up the mountain. The mountain, let's go. <laughs> This is a view of the kibbutz from above and you can see their garden, but you can also see all of their solar panels. All I have, thank you for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because eventually I would like to live off of YouTube and now that I am 20 years old, I need to start thinking about my future career. So let's see if this YouTube thing really works out. Ahaha, <laughs> jokes to my 77 subscribers, thank you very much. Um, and to the rest of you, please subscribe really because it's a dream of mine. Anyways, I have 20 and I'm an adult now, so I need to figure out my life. Um, yeah, so please pray for me. Also, I have midterms next week. So please pray for me because I may be an adult, but I am not wise yet. So let's hope that comes with age as I continue to age. Because I still didn't get the knowledge. Come on, 20s, let's go. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I think that's all I have for you. Bye!